All right, welcome to an episode in the React Foundation series. In this episode right here, we're going to be talking about transpilers, specifically called Babel. So what is Babel? Babel allows us to use next generation JavaScript today, as it says on the website, as you can see here. And uh, so um, the new version of JavaScript has a lot of nice, cool stuff uh, coming out. And, um, you know, the thing is, before it gets implemented into browsers, it takes forever because, you know, people take time because of standards. So um, if you don't want to wait for, you know, people to, for the, you know, the people who do standards and implement JavaScript into the browser to implement it into your browser, um, then you can use Babel and you don't have to worry about, uh, you know, like when is this feature going to be supported because Babel will basically transpile all your code down into raw JavaScript that will run in every browser for you. Uh, so to set this up, we're going to need to use the Babel loader. Uh, we already learned about loaders in the previous episode. So if you haven't seen that, check that out first. Um, so here we have the Babel loader. And I'm just going to follow this over here. So basically what I'm going to do here is npm install Babel loader, Babel core, and then a preset 2015. So I'm going to copy this over here. And then I'm going to paste it into here just like that. And I'm going to install a few more things after this as well, but which is um, it's called stage zero. Um, so I'm going to show you guys what stage zero is. So stage zero is like when you're living on the bleeding edge of the JavaScript language. Um, it, you know, it's already pretty, pretty much ES7. So you're going to get a lot of cool stuff that comes um, with ES7. So I'm not going to go into detail in terms of like what changed from ES5 to ES6 to ES7. Uh, I'm just going to show you guys what I use and what works. Um, so yeah, so the, the next thing we need to install is the stage zero preset. So I'm going to do uh, npm install babel um, preset stage zero save dev. And then uh, I'm also going to install the preset for React. All right, so npm install babel preset react save dev. Um, so you'll see here um, that, you know, it's populating the package JSON here with dev dependencies. So the beautiful thing is, um, you know, in the git ignore, we don't have to worry about uh, node modules filling up. As you can see, there's a lot of packages here. Uh, we don't need to worry about that because we already ignored the node modules over here, which means it's not going to be included when we push this into GitHub later on. Um, we just have this and then basically whoever loads our project in. So if you know you give this project to another developer, you can just do npm install and it'll set your environment right up. All right, so the next thing we're going to need to do is we're going to set this loader up in our Webpack config over here. Uh, so I'm going to do a comma here and I'm going to do a, a multi-line uh, one object over here. So test is going to be um, dot .js dollar sign. And then close that out. And I'm also going to add one more thing, which is um, JSX. So JSX is, um, you know, something specific to React. And we'll cover that in a later episode. But just know that we're going to need that. So we're going to put that in just like that. And the next thing we're going to need to do is say that the loader is called Babel. Now Babel, uh, you know, we need to basically tell it that we're going to use certain presets like the stage zero in React. So I'm going to do a query over here. And uh, open up the object, and then I'm going to do um, presets, and then uh, we're going to use ES 2015, which is the you know the most basic um, you know JavaScript uh, ES6. Uh, so according to um, you know sources, ES6 ES 2015 has already natively been implemented in uh, Safari, so. Um, you know, it, it works now without using a transpiler in Safari. But, you know, th then you have to worry about like, you know, different browsers like IE not supporting it and Chrome and Firefox. So it's best to just use the Babel transpiler uh, anyway. All right. Uh, so the next thing we're going to put is stage zero and then react. So if you look at, uh, if you do a search for these three keywords in Google, you'll uh, you'll see, or sorry, on GitHub, you'll see it come up. You know, everybody's pretty much using this standard here. Um, so that's why I'm using it as well. So uh, this will pretty much work. Um, you know, this will, will be pretty much enough for us to get started. 
Um, but I want to include include one more thing, which is this transform runtime. Uh, it can help improve, um, you know, like c reduce code bloating. Uh, so what we can do here is we can just copy this line here, npm install Babel plugin transform runtime. And then uh, we can just, you know, include that into our um, query here as uh, a plugin, as you can see here. So I'm just going to copy that and then uh, paste it just like that. All right, so this should be enough to get us started. Um, so let's go ahead and boot up our uh, Webpack server, uh, Webpack dev server. So if we get, uh, take a look over here, uh, to start the Webpack web server, it's a dev server, it's pretty simple. It's Webpack dev server progress colors. Uh, and I'm gonna add another option as well, which is watch. Um, so let me show you guys, Webpack dev server, um, progress, color, watch. So this is going to start the Webpack dev server in port um, 8080. Uh, so to access our app, uh, all we have to do is go to localhost 80. So there we go, it works. Um, so uh, one more thing we need to do, so I'm gonna remove the bundle over here. Oh, we don't need the bundle anymore. Um, so what we're going to do now is, um, you know, I'm going to just reload real quick over here and you can see that it's still working because, you know, it's, it, even though we don't have the, um, even though we don't have the bundle.js file that was here before, um, Webpack dev server is doing the, you know, most of the work here. So if I go to uh, Webpack dev server here, you'll see that it's, you know, it's got this bundle.js file here. Um, so that's how, you know, it's referencing in our index.html file is is basically referencing this uh, one, which is being served up by Webpack uh, dev server. So the previous episode, we also created this style over here. So how do we include this into our JavaScript? Well, it's very easy. You just do import. So the import is the new ES6 uh, syntax that I was talking about. So without Babel, import will not work. Um, so that's why, you know, we need to set up Babel before we can do all this stuff. Uh, so then now we do uh, dot style dot CSS. And so now if I go ahead and take a look at um, the bundle, you can see here that, um, you know, it's completely, it's, it's compiled our style. So if I go back to the browser and I do a reload on our page here, you're going to see that it's now yellow. Uh, our style is now actually taking effect. So yeah, um, that's, you know, like the very most minimal configuration of uh, Webpack and uh, Babel and getting all this stuff to work. Uh, in the next episode, I'm going to show you guys how to install React. Uh, it's actually very simple. And we're going to work towards getting our Hello World React app booted up in our front end uh, code over here. If you guys like what you saw, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, and uh, check out our member section on our site and become a member. Uh, there are going to be member exclusive content regarding React coming up very soon. Um, and yeah, to show your support, become a member, and uh, that's how we're gonna keep doing what we do every day. Thank you, and I'll see you guys in the next one.